now that we have our CT system in place, the first thing we need to do is take our x-ray images to, in order to build the CT volume, uh, the model. So what we have is an Apple AirPod inside the system. We take our x-ray images, and in this case we have 900 images uh, that we've taken, and you can kind of see it rotating about and just showing image after image of the AirPod rotating inside the x-ray system. Um, after we have that, those images, then we reconstruct them using the Creative CT software into a volume uh, which looks something like this, in which we can see through the uh, system itself, uh, see through the object itself, and we can zoom in, zoom out, check out the what's going on inside the Apple AirPod. And so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, isolate just the microphone, extract that volume by itself, and then build a surface and which will allow us to actually eventually 3D print the object looking something like this. So let's go ahead and uh, isolate just the microphone. So we isolate the microphone itself uh, and uh, reconstruct that solid volume by itself. Uh, you can see it by itself inside there. We can cut through it, take a look uh, through the microphone itself. So when you're looking through the microphone, you can actually see the wire bonds right there inside the volume. It's pretty neat. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to extra, uh, extract the surface from that volume by itself. All right, so we build our surface up. And as we can see, uh, it looks the same shape. Uh, what, we, what we can do is we can cut that. And you can see the interior and exterior of the surface. So now I take the surface data, uh, save it as an STL and then I can import that data into MeshLab where I can clean up the uh, surface a little bit better. So I import the surface into MeshLab and I see I have these extra little bodies that we don't really need to need so we can remove those bodies pretty easily. And we also can apply some filtering to actually smooth, smooth out the surface and make the file a manageable size. So it looks a, a bit smoother and now we can take it to the printer to print. We create the SDL files with MeshLab and bring those over to the 3D printer where we upload them and can uh, start the process. Uh, what we're going to have after it's finished printing is in a scaled version of the small microphone that's inside the, inside the AirPod. Play what you want.